welcome back everyone to another video and in this guide we have for you today is how to set up Wi-Fi using command line on Debian Ubuntu so we are going to use two commands in this one one is going to be nmcli and the other one is going to be nmtui nmtui is a nice pseudo graphical interface and nmcli gives you a bit more control so i have installed debian on the dragon board 410c and again this is a scenario where your dragon board would be pretty much headless and you would uh, log into it using something like the uart output now to get the uart output you could either use a 1.8 volts compatible uh, UR to USB converter or use one of the mezzanines like the audio, the sensor mezzanine or the UART mezzanine. All of them have a UART uh, to USB converter on, on board. So we are going to uh, use Pico.com to actually log into our UART console and you would be able to see the terminal come up pretty soon. So powering it on and there you have it. So uh, in Debian for all of our boards the UART output def by default boots into root uh, and that's what we are using today so let's go ahead and uh, get familiar with NMCLI so we need to first check the general status of our hardware and if we are connected or not so for that we have NMCLI general and status so it's pretty self-explanatory there again we are disconnected uh, and the hardware is enabled uh, and everything else is enabled but we are not connected to uh, an actual connection so NMCLI connections show would actually go ahead and give us nothing again as we said we are not connected in case we were connected to multiple uh, networks via U Wi Fi and Ethernet, uh, NMCLI connection show would show both of them. So, uh, NMCLI device status this gives us the device status. So, if we had an Ethernet connection as well, it would have given us ETH0 right about after LO. Now, we get to the point where we actually see what all Wi-Fi networks or SSIDs are available for us to connect with. So NMCLI dev Wi-Fi list gives us a list of SSIDs nearby and the one we are going to connect to is RecFi. That's my home SSID for my home Wi-Fi and we are going to connect to that. So to do that, let's go ahead and create a connection first. Now to first connect to an access point, we need to create a connection and for that we are using NMCLI con add con name and then name of the Wi-Fi, it's kind of a variable, you can name it anything, uh, name of the new connection you are creating, IF name would be the name of your interface, so in this case it's WLAN 0, type would be Wi-Fi and SSID is RICFI, so just press enter, it will establish it will create a new connection and then again you can use all right so the so the next command nmcli con modify wi-fi wi-fi sec dot key management space wi-fi uh, wpa dash psk basically tells our newly created connection named wi-fi that the security key management is under wpa psk so let's go ahead and actually connect to the wi-fi all right, so the next command line, uh, NMCLI con modify Wi-Fi uh, and Wi-Fi dash sec PSK, it's basically you're just entering the password. Uh, and again, the blurred stuff you see after that is the password that I entered. And all you have to do is enter your password for your uh, Wi-Fi AP. And the next one is we finally go ahead and enable that connection. So that is NMCLI con up and Wi-Fi and that is done so you can see if I ping 8.8.8.8 that's a public ID by Google uh, it pings successfully and works just fine so this whole thing was a fair bit of work to do every time you want to change your Wi-Fi AP 
uh, or reconnected, disconnected. Uh, of course, you can save different kind of connections. In this case, we saved one for named as Wi-Fi. But uh, if you want a much simpler and a much streamlined process and still want to do it on your terminal, your command line and still want to do it remotely, there is an empty UI and that is not as comprehensive but still gets the work done. So as you can notice, I have actually uh, shut down the uh, Wi-Fi connection. So that's an MCLI con and down and Wi-Fi. So next what we do is let's try out an empty UI. So an empty UI actually gives us a text user interface which looks something like this. Alright, so once you are inside the main NMTUI user interface, you can use the arrow keys and the enter key to navigate through the menu. So what we are going to do is simply go to activate a connection. It would show us a list of connections that are a list of APs that are available nearby and their signal strength and I can connect to my AP and just type in the password which comes in as a uh, hidden character so that's just fine uh, click ok or select ok and that is done then you can go ahead and select activate that would end up connecting to your AP and there would be some noise in the interface and then you can go back and then quit and now if we ping it works just as well. So NMTUI is a bit faster way to do it. NMCLI, come more comprehensive, a bit more laborious, but it gets the job done. For more guides like this one, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And thanks for watching.